Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Scotty with Scotty Goes Pro and today I'm going to be trying a little experiment with my GoPro Hero 5 and trying to make the audio sound better when the door is off. Now I've posted a couple videos over the last couple months all pertaining to the GoPro Hero 5 audio quality and me trying to make it better. So the first video was me taking the GoPro Hero 5 housing that it comes with and doing some cuts to it to expose the microphones a little better. So I made a cut here to make this microphone better and I cut the top here. Let me see if I can get you to see this. So here on the top next to the shutter button, I made a cut here all to expose the microphones and make it sound better while it's in this housing. The second video was pertaining to the Karma Grip where I gave some advice to make the audio quality sound better there. So I'll post those links somewhere up here throughout the video and I'll also put those in the comments section below so you can check those out if you haven't seen those uh, after this video or you can check them out now and then come back, however you want to do it. But since making those videos, I have gotten lots of comments and lots of uh, messages through YouTube and a few of those messages from a few different people all kind of uh, hinted towards this experiment that I'm going to do today. I'm talking to you now on my GoPro Hero 5 and the audio quality should be halfway decent. Although my garage door is open and my neighbor is weed eating, so you could probably hear that. I don't know if you can hear that, but either way, we're just listening to the audio quality, so it doesn't matter what's going on in the background. So by now, we all know that once you take this door off, the GoPro Hero 5, the audio quality isn't the best. It, it goes pretty bad. It's pretty terrible. I'm not going not gonna to sugarcoat it too much. But anyway, so the experiment today is to cover that third microphone that's nearest to that door in the hopes that the other two microphones will take up the slack and the audio quality will sound better. So if you don't already know, the GoPro Hero 5 has three microphones. It has one next to the mode button, one on top next to the shutter button, and the other third microphone is nearest the door that covers all the USB-C ports and your power port and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, right now you're hearing the audio coming straight from the Hero 5. This is what it sounds like. So, I'm going to take the door off now and talk to you for another minute or so and let you hear what it sounds like then. So, give me just a second. All right. So, this is the GoPro Hero 5 audio quality with the door taken off. Here, I've got the door off. Nothing else done. This isn't in a housing. It's, it's nothing special. It's just the GoPro. Wow, this guy's going crazy with this weed eater. So it's just the GoPro with the door off. So it should sound kind of muffled. It should sound uh, like the old GoPros did when they were in a water housing, uh, protective housing. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. It sounds like it's in that old waterproof housing. It sounds muffled like you're underwater. So I'm gonna tear off a piece of duct tape. I'm gonna put it on this microphone, cover it up really well in the hopes that it will <laughs> in the hopes that it will make the other two microphones take up the slack and sound better. So give me just a second to do that. All right, so there we go. The third microphone nearest the door has been covered up with a duct tape and hopefully this will help the audio. I'm pretty skeptical about it. I don't think it's gonna work. You obviously know by now if the, if the audio is any different I'll have to watch it back on the computer before I know, so hopefully this will work. Um, if not, then I guess there's really no fix for it. So I'm also going to take this camera now while the duct tape is on it, stick it in my Karma grip to see if that makes any difference. So give me just another moment for that. All right, so now I've got the hoop. Uh, <laughs> now I have the GoPro Hero 5 in my Karma grip with the duct tape over the microphone that's closest to all the ports hoping that this makes a difference in the sound quality. Uh, again, I'm skeptical, I don't think it's going to, but it's worth a shot. So this is my Karma Grip. And this is what the audio quality sounds like. So I'm gonna take it out now, go plug it up to my computer, listen to everything, and come back and we'll talk about the results. See you in a minute. All right, so I'm back, and the crazy guy with the weed eater is finally done with the backyard, so hopefully this sounds a lot better. I apologize for all that weed eating going on in the background. I realized that sounded like crap. So anyway, I've reviewed the videos, and like you guys probably already know, the experiment was a bust. So the uh, duct tape over the microphone didn't help the audio quality none. 
So I think it's just one of those things that we're just going to have to deal with with the, uh, when you take that door off, the audio quality. Uh, you know, it's kind of give and take. You want the GoPro to be waterproof all the time or do you want good audio quality? I would rather have the GoPro Hero 5 just like it is. To me, it's not a deal breaker. I don't care. I love this camera. So, but if it is one of those issues for you, you can't deal with that, then... I don't know, something you gotta, you gotta figure out. So the only time that I ever take the door off anyway is when I put my camera in the Karma Grip, which when I'm using that, I, I don't plan on getting any good audio anyway. I plan on putting music over it and just make some cool video. So anyway, if uh, you have any comments, concerns, questions, please leave those below in the comments section. Uh, you know, what have you done to try to make the audio better for your GoPro? You know, is there some sort of option in post-production? If so, let us know. Is there, you know, another experiment that you've tried? Uh, just, you know, open it up for questions, concerns, comments, and complaints. So, uh, just let me know what you think. If you like this video, it's helpful for you. Please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'll be doing more reviews, tips, and tutorials like this in the near future. So, subscribe so you don't miss anything. And I will talk to you again later. Bye.